Guys, today we are playing Madden 23. I know it's weird, but Madden 24 is broken. I can't get it to launch at all, no matter what I do. So, moving forward for some mods I do, I'm going to do it on Madden 23. I have updated rosters, so it's all good. It's not like, like that big of a deal. But, with these updated rosters, not only are they updated, they're also the rookies from the upcoming draft. These rosters have the rookies in the game on certain teams. So, for example, this is obviously the um, Kansas City Chiefs roster. They just picked up Irv Smith this offseason. They also picked up Trevor Simeon, which I didn't realize. They got rid of, um, what's the guy's name? Uh, Sneed. They got rid of Sneed. And I'm not sure who their rookie they actually drafted here is. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly who they drafted in this one. But if we go back, for example, the top draft pick in the NFL for the rosters here, Caleb Williams, he is on the Chicago Bears. Um, Caleb's number one. And then the next guy we have here, I think it's the... not the Well, the Cardinals should have Marvin Harrison Jr., Oh, they got Malik Neighbors. Okay, I'm not sure where they put Marvin Harrison Jr. then. Um, I know the Vikings have J.J. McCarthy, which I'm not sure in the draft that they technically, in speaking, traded up for him. Very possible, I guess. Um, Russell Wilson. We got David Carr, Derek Carr, Lamar, um, Stafford, and Jimmy G. That's interesting. Uh, Michael Penix. This would be the shock of the draft if they drafted him at number three overall. Um, I think the Commanders have, I want to say Drake May. Yeah, Commanders have Drake May. And then J.J. McCarthy, obviously there. And, yeah. So, again, like I said, some of these rosters are kind of weird. Let's be honest, where the players got drafted. But, yeah. So, Kirko Cousins is on the Falcons here. Um, if you're wondering what happened to the Chargers, well, the Chargers got Troy Franklin in the draft, and they got Brock Bowers. So, that's their receiving core, but they also got Gus Bus. so uh, I'll be interested to see how this works out. So, let's get right into this. Keep in mind that I am now in the NFC West, so I changed the Chiefs and put them in the NFC West. A little different, the Chiefs now in the NFC. I changed places with the Cardinals. So the Cardinals now are in the AFC West, and they're going to try to compete with this dumpster fire of a division, it seems like. And on our side, our biggest problem is the 49ers. 49ers, the Rams, I'm not too scared about. Seahawks, not too scared about. At least the good thing is we do get to take over the NFC, and I think the NFC, in all honesty, is easier. Um, even with updated rosters, it's still going to be a... A lot easier than playing the AFC. Even though now, well, I guess he's he's always been on the NFC. But Saquon is a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. And that's going to be a team we're going to have to probably look out for. Um, because the Eagles just got better. Alright, week one we beat the Cardinals. Ironically enough. Team that we switched out for, we actually just beat. Um, week two we played the Chargers. It's going to be a tougher game? I don't know. Would that be... We lost. Okay. So, we lost an AFC West opponent. That's kind of weird. Um, we did... Okay, wow. Great game with Anthony Richardson and the Colts. Did not expect that game to be so good. I don't think they picked up anyone that crazy this offseason. I know the Colts re-signed somebody. We lost to Baker Mayfield in the Bucks. Is this team going to win the Super Bowl in the NFC? Okay, right now with 2-3. and three, That's not the way you want to start off this franchise. We beat the Bills, okay, so we're keeping tradition alive. The Seahawks are four and two. How are the Seahawks four and freaking two? This is a problem. This division could be really freaking good. Which, you know what? I think the Chiefs deserve this. We lost to the 49ers, okay. The Chiefs deserve to have to go to a division that's actually tough. They have won the AFC West, I believe, since 2015. So, like, this is finally now they have to actually compete. We beat the Titans. Now we play the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are 5-4. and four. Okay, that's tough. All right, we beat the Jags. We're now currently tied for number one seed with the 49ers. We beat the Chargers. Okay. So did we play the Chargers twice? 
Okay, I am so confused right now. Do we... So we played the Chargers twice. So, okay, no. I See, I thought we had... Hang on, hold up. This is messing my brain. Okay, no, we have the Chiefs schedule. I thought we had the um, the Cardinals schedule. I don't know why I thought we had the Cardinals schedule, but no, we have the Chiefs schedule. Okay, so we play the three and seven Rams now. Let's we'll see how this game goes. Okay, we barely beat them. The five and six Bengals, which is my team, we beat them. That's a shocker. Um. <laughs> Anyway, we lost 27 to 7 to the Broncos. Who did the Broncos even have a quarterback? There's nah, nah, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We can't just lose to the Broncos like that and But anyway, um hold up. Who did the Broncos even have a quarterback? Um quarterback Joe Flacco? Joe Flacco signed with the Colts. So that means in this franchise, they cut Joe from the Colts. And he signed with the Broncos. Okay. That is not what I want to see. Let's just keep going. We beat the Texans. Actually, pretty handily, too. Alright. Are we going to win this division? No, we're not going to. I don't know. Oh, we lost to the Seahawks. That sucks. I don't think we're going to win this division. Ah, uh, well, we're currently 10-6, and six, but we lost to the 49ers head-to-head. -head. Could we win our division? 10-6. and six. And we lost our division. Oh, yeah, by the way, oh, this was Madden 23. So, two, the top two teams. Is it the top two teams get the first round by? We, we weren't the top two. What? I am so confused right now. Wait, we didn't make the playoffs. We missed the playoffs at 10 and 7. I'm like thinking like, is there a first round buy or something? Like, am I, am I, what am I missing? No, we didn't make the playoffs. So we went, oh my lordy. They're, they're, this is the 10 and 7 graveyard. There is every team except for the Bucks who went eleven and six went ten and seven, and we just missed it as the final cutoff team. And the Cardinals did not make the play. Oh, this is insane. Okay, yeah, that was um the Broncos made the playoffs. Shout out to Joe Flacco, taking another team to the playoffs here, and then for us. The number three seed, 49ers, made it. But we sadly fell short. That is actually... I'm actually amazed that we fell short there. I really thought we were going to do it. Who won MVP? Jalen Hurts. Yeah, you give him Saquon Barkley. And you find out really fast how good he is. Uh, 44 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Isaiah Pacheco led the team here. Um, Irv Smith had eight receptions for 75 yards. Yup. Congratulations, Kansas City. You got yourself a hero. I really thought this team would make the playoffs at least. I mean, 10-7 and seven and missing the playoffs is kind of wild. But I guess it came down to tiebreakers and every team together trying to compete and get the goal. And with all the tiebreakers, you know, we got knocked out. Usually, Kansas City is the last team that gets knocked out of those tiebreakers. All right, Jets versus 49ers Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers. Can Aaron Rodgers get the job done? That would be the worst. That is the worst Super Bowl of all time. That should not legally be allowed to be a Super Bowl. Like, we should riot if that was a Super Bowl. 10-13... Two thirty-seven yards, one touchdown, one interception. 126 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. And the 49ers win that game. And Debo Samuel has one 64-yard touchdown rush. And that is the thing that wins the game. 
in the third quarter. Nobody scores for the first two quarters. The third quarter, Debo Samuel runs it for 64 yards. They kick two field goals and they win. That would be the most painful game to watch. And you know what's funny? Tyler Conklin scores the other touchdown. What's funny about all this is the Patriots Rams Super Bowl was one of the most insufferable Super Bowls to watch. This would be up there on the list. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.